by the time it came to the FIFA, even though I wasn't particularly probed on the issue, had somebody said, why didn't you do discourse analysis, I would have felt very uh, practiced at the response, I would have been very confident with mine, so there was a positive. So that was the challenge for me, the big challenge. Something that was both a challenge and an age was time, which I'm sure everybody is the same. So, you know, there was the time management issue and actually finding the time to do the study. I didn't find that a problem for the first two years because there are kind of natural breaks built in and there's specific, discrete tasks and projects and once you finish them you can take a breath and move on to the next thing. There is sort of a sense of achievement. But for the, for the, the last two years I did, I found it very tough making the time for it. Um, things, I'm kind of a literal person and I took all of the material from the course very literally and I think that's helpful to me because of the way I work. So somewhere on the course document it says that you should do around 15 hours a week of study. You know? So and it also says this is a four-year course. So I said I'm doing my 15 hours a week and it's a four-year course, therefore I expect to finish in four weeks in four years. You know? <laughs> now I did sort of you know appreciate that I should be using these 15 hours productively. But once I was doing that, I think it gave me um, great sort of um, ease the rest of the time. So I kept at work every week on the back of my notebook. I recorded how many hours I worked. Um, I had a work plan, all oh, someone's frowning over here. <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel ill. <laughs> but, you see, I, I think that was helpful to me, because then when 15 hours were done, I said, that's it, I'm doing whatever I want to do. Yeah? And it also, I mean, I took, I had a baby in the middle, but I took three months off at one period. I always took holidays, always, always. I took a month every summer, I always took Christmases off, I took school midterms off. So I did work, I, I focused on it, but outside of that, I did not stress myself out, I really did other things. Yeah? So for me, Taking it literally was actually quite helpful, but I did, um, for the time that I was working, I was working. Yeah. I did look back at earlier student days and kind of time wasting, I think, was a luxury. I couldn't afford this time around, so I didn't do it really. So starting out, there were lots of things I wanted. I wanted a you know, quality piece of research that was publishable. I wanted um, you know, to be able to apply it in a work context. I wanted to finish. But then as time moved on, I kind of thought, right, which of these do I actually want most? And when it came down to it, rightly or wrongly, what I wanted most was to finish it on time. So I decided that I deferred all publication activities. I know there are some schools of thought that say you should publish as you go along, you should present as you go along. Given that this was a concentrated two years focus exclusively on it, I decided not to do that. So I decided priority one for me is finishing time. So any suggestion, particularly those that were, uh, you know, started with it, it might be interesting to think about or it might be interesting to look at. I evaluated primarily in terms of whether or not they um, were going to uh, contribute towards me finishing on time or whether they were going to prevent it. And if it was something that, you know, this would be interesting and I might answer the research, but it would mean an extra year, then I said, no, I'm not going to do it. You know? So I was very focused, I suppose, on what I wanted. And I suppose knowing for yourself what you want. For some people, I think, you know, they might say, I'd rather do it over a long period, but I want to get certain other things out of it. Once you know what you want, then I think it's probably easier um, to 